Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mega Aquarium, our aquarium building tycoon game, where we're gonna try to do our best to continue. Oh, I have, okay, I'm just holding on to an end table. That's fine. I have no idea why I was just holding on to an end table, but that's, that's totally cool. <laughs> but welcome back, you guys, to uh, Mega Aquarium, where we're gonna try to get some new fish today, an a Arabian blue lined dotty back, and to make it super happy. So we have already unlocked it through the ecology points, which I'm very excited about. Look at all these people come. They're just coming to see my fish. I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I would think this was a small fish shop, not like a big aquarium that I would pay money to come see. Not to say that our little ones aren't really awesome, but you know, I, I when I think the fish, I think the big fish. But as we continue to research and unlock different fish, one day we can even have manatee. And who knows what else in here. All right, so let's try to get the Arabian blue lined dotty back. Which, if I remember correctly, is, uh, is it aggressive? Yes, look at it! It's a bully! It's gonna pester any of the wimpy fish, and the, the king is a wimpy fish, so we're gonna want to build a new area for the Arabian blue-lined dotty back to go into. Um, and the nice thing about that is I can just come in here and I can just be like, yeah, we're expanding the whole joint. So, let's do this. I really like how I can just add in like huge chunks. Let's put in a basic tank back here. And we'll put this tank down here. I can just like add in more building really easily, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, and we're gonna wanna heat. Let's do the combo mini, yes. So that we can take care of both things at once. I wish I could make it look a little nicer, but that's okay. Now let's get some of these Arabian blue line dotty back in here. This fish is exceptionally aggressive to more docile tank mates and has been known to disembowel them. Wow. Wow. Let no one tell you it is not a fish eat fish world because it is a fish eat fish world. <laughs> Do I need to take us back to Subnautica because I can prove that it is a fish eat fish world? Though I guess that's not our world. Uh, but. Okay, and this guy likes to hang out with, uh, doesn't really say, he just, he could be fine on his own, actually. So let's add him in here. We have at least one. <gasps> and we can research the yellow dang! And this guy is not a wimp. He would need a tank size of six. Okay. Look at that guy! Look at him! He's gonna, like, beat all our other fish up if we're not careful. Let's put in a, a driftwood cave. And let's put down some seed lettuce, because I freaking love plants. And we'll add in a couple rocks. There you go, you little aggressive whatnot. So we want to unlock the yellow tang and have the yellow tang come and join us now. We need to get more ecology points for that to happen. Um, and this guy gives a lot of ecology points, actually. Holy cow. The, this blue line dotty back, let's put two of them in here. And now that's like 20 ecology every time somebody comes and, and gets to see them. I have a staff door that I could add onto a wall. There's my staff door actually, okay. Cause I figured out how to make walls last time. Now I've got to figure out how to like rotate my wall. I have forgotten. Oh, there we go. Hey, no, get out of there, kid. You're not staff. Come on. Oh, he's lost. Oh geez. Come on, get out of there. All right. Woo. All right, and now we have a little staff room where only staff can go in. I really like that, that I can just like build walls. Uh, all right, this thing, oh good, she's repairing it so that the temperature will go up for our fish fish. Uh, I like this a lot. It gets pretty addictive. And soon we will have the yellow tang, which I think I'm going to add in with these guys. Hello, hello. 60% water. Look at how much ecology they give. Okay, and they need to be in a tank size of six. And they need to have plant lover. They need at least one plant. <gasps> I am totally here for that. Trust me, little yellow tang friend. I too love plants. You've unlocked the yellow tang. Let's take a look. The yellow tang has a higher water quality requirement than your other animals. Therefore, you may need to have more filters or less fish in the tank. Uh, okay, good to know. Notice that they also eat different types of food than your other animals. Oh, they do, because this one's green pellets. 
Okay, make sure you build a green pellet dispenser so that your staff can feed it. Finally, the yellow tang likes plants. House them in a tank with at least one plant per tang. On it. All right, so let's try putting two tangs in. Tank is now full. Okay. And we need to make sure that they have enough food food. So let's put this in here so that my staff can feed them. Uh, and I think I need to make a new tank then for our dotty backs. Or not our dotty back. Or yeah, the blue lined dotty back, which needs 55% water quality and a tank size of four. Doo -doo -doo. That's four, right? I'm pretty sure this is a tank size of four. All right, let's try putting that down. And then we'll grab this guy and move him in here, right? And then, oh, that's a soldier fish. We unlocked it. Oh, we can research the soldier fish now. Cool. At least I think I grabbed. All right, you come here. I want to pick you up and put you in here. There we go. And pick you up and put you in here. Oh geez, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. I didn't think this through. Oh geez! Okay, that really got a lot of people excited to like watch that little one. Uh, let's give him some rocks, I guess. All right, so now I think that our, yeah, these guys are fine now that they're in their own little tank together. They really didn't need a very big tank. Good to know. You guys can, oh, you can't have sea grapes. No sea grapes for you. Can you have a little, we'll give them a little driftwood. There you go, friends. And we've now, oh my gosh, so now we have unlocked the soldier fish. This is really going along pretty quickly here, but there are literally thousands and thousands of species of fish in the sea. Uh, and this guy has even more issues. Black bar soldier fish are nocturnal, so they like to have a cave to hang out in. When you reach rank two, you've, uh, you have you unlocked the driftwood cave decoration, which provides a cave. So make sure you add one to your black bar soldier fish tank. Also note that they dislike lights. You don't have to worry about this right now, but later you'll need to light your tank for certain plants and corals. What the heck? This is going to get more complicated. Okay, that's really cool. Like more complicated in a good way. Uh, so let's get things a little bit. There's squirrel fish. Pardon me. There are squirrel fish that exist on this planet with me. And I have never learned about this in the many, many long years of my life. I am astounded. All right, we'll have to investigate what the heck the squirrel fish thing is about. Uh, but let's put in a soldier fish there. Tired guest. One of your guests has grown tired. Build some benches so they have somewhere to sit and rest. Cool. So now we can build benches for our guests. Let's expand some. Let's expand like this whole chunk. Yeah, look at that. Now we're really starting to open this place up. That's plenty of room for benches. All right. Sit your old tire selves down, my friends. Here, we'll put it up against the wall, I think. A couple benches back here. We'll plunk one down over here if you just want to sit and relax with the fish fish. And the final challenge. The aquarium is looking great. Your final challenge is to reach the amount of prestige and maintain it for a period of time. Oons, 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 oons. We've got plenty of prestige. Look at us. Can I add another one of the yellow tang in here? Sweet. Oh wait, now they're a little mad. They're like, excuse you? How could you? You have betrayed my trust. Uh, we'll put like a nice tank back here. Combo mini back here. And I will move the soldier fish. No, not the whole tank. I want just the soldier fish. Just, okay, you gotta click on the soldier fish. Click on the little like net. The, you'd completely miss out on one of the most dramatic aspects of having to work with fish. When I used to work in a pet store, um, back before I really was like, I don't know what I think about pet stores. But when I used to work in a pet store, the most dramatic thing about helping out the people who took care of the fish side of things was having to catch certain fish and not stress the whole tank out. You had to be fast, you had to be focused. And so to just be like, yeah, like I can totally just scoop these fish out. No, you spend like the whole day trying for hours to convince this one fish to go into a net. And actually when we visited the St. Louis Aquarium in February, there was a piranha whose buddy had bit him and they needed to take the piranha off exhibit so that they could give him antibiotics and wait for him to heal up before returning him to the tank. 
And when we arrived, they had a diver in the piranha tank with these huge like dinner plate size piranhas. Not dangerous for the, the diver, keep in mind, but he had to figure out a way to move through the water, which is really hard. You move a lot slower underwater because you're pushing up against all the force of the water with a big old net to catch this piranha before his buddies ate him. And thankfully, it distracted the whole tank, including the like freshwater mantas that were down on the stingrays that were down on the bottom. Uh, it distracted the whole freaking tank enough that his buddies didn't try to eat him. However, <laughs> I feel so bad for that poor piranha because we left four hours later and the guy had had to take a couple breaks and he was still trying to catch it. Like, holy cow. So that's the that's the most intense part of working at an aquarium, trying to catch the individual fish, I feel, so that you can take care of everybody. Um, and I, I, I think it's a little interesting how we don't have to have our little employees spend forever halfway in a tank. Imagine if they fell into these tanks and they're just like, oh no, what do I do? That's my daydream about what would happen here. All right, I think that we're about to like win this. So I'm gonna get a little silly and see how far we can throw things. All right, all right. Challenge is about to be met, oh yeah. So I'm gonna get a little sassy. Uh, and we're just gonna put down like another nice tank. What's the biggest tank I can have? Ah, that's the biggest tank I can have. All right, well, let's move this tank right here. And we're gonna deck this thing out with my friend, the yellow tang. Since the yellow tang loves plants and I love plants, I want more tang. Oh, we did it! Okay, we won! Yay! We've built Sunnyside up to be a great little aquarium. Oh, cool! Look at the way that you can set up the walls to hide the filters in the staff area. I never even thought about doing that. That's so cool! And people have started to take notice. You've received a job offer to run a larger aquarium over in North Woods. You can continue to build here at Sunnyside for as long as you want. Uh, I think we're ready to move on to bigger and better things. Let's do it, guys. Bye, Sunnyside. It was wonderful. All right. So establish our name by refurbishing this old aquarium. Welcome to North Woods. You've been tasked with refurbishing this old aquarium. It is already it already has several tanks. I thought it said it already has survived several tanks, and I was like, oh gosh, this has been quite dramatic here. It already has several tanks, some decorations, and even a couple of surviving fish. Oh my! The aquarium has a healthy source of ecology points, but these only unlock new animals. To unlock other things, we need science points. Science points are used to unlock new pieces of equipment, tanks, and facilities for your guest. Both types of points are crucial to running a successful aquarium. Make sure you have an adequate supply of both. It's time for science, friends! Heck, okay, this is going to be exciting. Uh, so we want to combine science across all of our animals. Apparently we can learn from our animals we can get science points. Yes, yes. Is that is that how it works? Look at the way they did these tanks. That's so cool. You can see the half and half chromis. I'm shocked that I even remembered that one. That one's empty. Could be a good spot for some yellow tang. Is this? Oh, it's my friend, the yellow tang. Okay. And then what's this guy? Oh, I think it's the dotty fish. Yes, it's the Arabian blue line dotty fish who will nom on others if we put them in there. All right. So we need science. What does that mean? How does, oh, somebody needs fed mussels? Oh, that's so cool. A mid-sized mollusk that grows in densely packed beds containing millions of individuals. This dispenser has a limited capacity, but is refilled at the beginning of each day. Interesting. All right, tell me how to science. Um, do none of these guys give me science? Combine science. Add animals to your aquarium until the combined value across all tanks is 40 science. Build a tool station. Okay, because we need the, those toolkits. All right, so let's build a tool station back here. We need at least one staff and we need to combine animals. Oh, here we go. <gasps> a zebra moray eel. 
It will eat uh, crustaceans with a size of one to one. When fully grown, it will go ahead and it will eat crustaceans with a size of, size of one to three. I am so excited. Zebra Moriel. Zebras won't try and sample fish tank mates, but we can't say the same for any ornamental crustaceans. Good to know. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Uh, so it needs a four to nine size tank. It's the one that eats the mussels. It takes time to grow. So after like four days, it will increase. We'll grow to nine fish size after four days. What? Okay. I like you, buddy. Uh, I want to put you in here. You just placed your first zebra moray eel. The zebra moray starts small, but will grow larger over time. Grown, an grown up animals are worth more points, but they will only grow if you fulfill all of their care requirements and make sure that there's enough space in the tank for them to grow into. Hover over the growth time, okay, to figure out how many days they have left. And he gives me science. Apparently I don't get science from the others. Hi friend. So he needs uh, a couple places to hide and we need to make sure that we've got the muscle dispenser right nearby so that he'll have some food. Um, and let's give him driftwood cave. There we go. Maybe a couple driftwood caves. That seems like a good good thing to err on the side of caution for. Uh, and I think we just will stick to one because he's going to need quite a bit. Uh, I think I can stick another one of him over here if I remove a couple of the chromis. Tank is full. How many do the half and half chromis need? Oh, they want all four. Okay. Can't put him in there. Can I put him over here? Okay, that would really fill up that tank. But how many Arabian Donny Bluefish do we actually need? They don't really care if they have other members. Can I sell him? All right, come here, you little you little guy. Can I... Can I sell the fish? How does one... I, I can rehome the fish. He will attack other members if I do that, though. All right, let's try this guy. I want to put down another moray eel, but I don't think his tank size... Yeah, he needs like a tank size of nine. Can I expand this one? Because this is only six. Actually, oh dear. I don't think either of these tanks are, are big enough. Oh, and I can't expand them. Okay. All right, we're going to have to, we're going to have to play it smart here. All right, let's see, let's see. I can put three. Let's try putting in some of these fish fish. One, two, three. We did it! Okay. Four. Why not? Uh, okay, actually, they didn't want four. Oh, no! Okay. How do... How do... How does one say it? sell the fish? Sell fish? I have too many fish! <laughs> Can you go in here? Oh, no. Okay. How do I... Right-click? Okay, I picked him up. I got him! I got him! Where do I take him? <laughs> Help! Oh my gosh. I, I need to sell him. Yes, I would like to sell this fish, please. Oh, that's how you do it. You have to go to demolish to sell a fish. What the heck? I didn't want to like... Oh my word. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Now I have... Okay, you go in there. Okay. Man, that's kind of messy when all of the tanks can just open up like that. All right, I sold a fish. I'm just like running around with this fish in my hands like, help, help, help. I don't know what to do. Help. Um, all right. Hopefully they'll be happy. Here, you guys can have some rubble. I like rubble. Uh, and let's hire a employee really quickly. And then we'll open this place up. Claire, you look nice. You're good at feeding, good at fixing. And you've got a lot of empathy and good memory. You're hired. And Romeo, you know what? Let's go ahead. We're just going to hire Claire and Romeo. I'm sure it'll work out fine. Yay! Wall tanks. Good work! The aquarium is stocked, and it's open to the public once more. You may have noticed that all of the tanks at Northwoods are embedded into the walls. They are called, unimaginatively, wall tanks. Wall tanks are viewed by guests from one side and accessed by staff via the other. This allows you to keep your equipment behind closed doors. Speaking of doors, the staff doors allow your staff through while blocking guests. Handy! All of this is useful because from rank three, guests expect your equipment to be hidden away and will complain otherwise. Our next objective is to build our own wall tank matching the specification specifications. Dun dun dun! <gasps> the 
look at that flame angelfish. Oh, it dislikes co-species. A con species, so it cannot be housed with others of its own type. And the coral grouper, who will eat crustaceans. It's also greedy and it will eat 33% more food and produce more waste for its side, uh, size, but it's really pretty. Okay, let's research that one. All right, you guys, we got this. Look at our mermaid eel. It's so small, can I name it? Can I, can I, I wanna name, no. Okay, wait, choose, okay, choose now. Okay, so we need to research. Let's research the basic pump if we're about to have some messy, messy fish things. Can I name this moray eel? Oh, I can name the moray eel! Oh my gosh, Zach! Zach, hi! It's Zach, you guys! I have named my first animal. It is our zebra moray eel. I love him. I am extremely pleased right now. I am, I am very happy. We have our moray eel, Zach. All right. I think I could get ridiculously attached to everything here and I need to use caution. But thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for Zach. I am so excited. He's going to give us science and we're going to be able to research pumps and he's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see what else we continue to unlock to be able to make this world even more amazing. And I hope to see you guys next time. So be sure to subscribe to follow along on this and thousands more adventures. And most importantly, my friends, stay curious. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.